Hi guys, it's Matthias coming at you here with a video about playing the F objective. And uh, the PTFO style, which I play quite a lot, is many times, I've come to realize lately, very misunderstood. Now, the way Battlefield plays out, it's very easy to believe that as long as you stay on the flag and help flip that point, you are doing a lot more for your team than a player getting kills between some of the flags. At least I made sure we got beat. Now, don't get me wrong. Many times that is actually correct. If you are capping the flags, if you are the one staying on the flag making sure it flips, then in many cases you actually are more valuable for your team than some of the guys that have more kills than you. However, many times the reason why you're able to stay on a flag and flip it is because somebody is there somewhere between the flags or nearby, making sure that the enemies can't get to the flag kill you and take it back. Now unfortunately with a game such as Battlefield there is always a bit of drama between players that have different playstyles. There's nothing new about it but in Battlefield 1 you get an unusually high amount of points by staying on a flag that your team is capping. This while at the same time the people that made sure that you were able to get there in the first place by killing the enemies defending it may not be rewarded the same way unless they are able to stay on the flag as well. In this situation, for example, I'm killing these two guys that are outside of the flag, making sure that no one of their squad mates can spawn in so that they get strong enough to overrun us on D and prevent us from capping it. By doing so, I miss out on all the capture points, which probably is going to be more than the points I get from making a few frags. Now, personally, I don't really mind. I don't think it matters the points all that much. I just want to have fun and I enjoy playing in a way that I believe benefits my team. Unfortunately, me and players like myself very often get to hear that we don't care about the team, we don't care about capping the flags, and we only care about getting kills for ourselves. And from my own experience, this is normally from players that even if they tried, wouldn't be able to get the same amount of kills anyway. Therefore, the drama. For the most part when I play, I choose a style and a class that is designed to get a lot of kills, more than most people on the same server. Now I play this style to the best of my ability to try to help my team win. Now one of the important things that I want to point out with this video is that a successful team needs to have a variety of different players. You need people that play differently, not a whole bunch of people that plays the same way, for the most part. My playstyle is a lot stronger with a good medic with me and also a good support player. Now this could of course be said for a lot of players and a lot of different so playstyles, but the way I see it, capturing a flag is something that I normally try to categorize in three different phases. First, you have to get there. This requires you to kill all the enemies that are trying to prevent you from getting to the flag and capture it. For me, this is a very important part when I play my most played or my normal playstyle. After that, you need to secure and defend it, and you need people that stays within the capture zone long enough so it flips. Now here is where a lot of people can get a lot of points very easily. All you need to do is follow some of the guys that are r relatively strong fraggers and stay on the point and reap the rewards of the kills being made by somebody else. Now the third phase is probably what causes most of these discussions and reactions. If my team can start capping a flag and it seems uncontested, I almost always leave the flag and either try to make sure that uh, the enemy reinforcements can't get to it or I just simply go to another flag and try to flip that as well. And that, leaving a flag that your team hasn't yet capped. Saved F. Yeah, that has a tendency to cause a bit of drama. Ah, oh, there was another one. That was another one. KD, what's going on? So now let me show you a little bit of a medic PTFO. This is a little bit different. Sert-toi de cette trousse de secours 
Are we capping this flag? Battlefield 1 has four main classes that are very different from each other's and for my team to be successful the way I play, I need good players that plays the game very differently compared to myself. I also want to believe that players that plays very differently compared to me needs players like me in order for the team to be stronger. It's in the nature of Battlefield to have players that works together yet still plays very differently. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm rushing it. Ah, that was a that was a big amount of people. Do we still have people here? I tried now, but I'm in the wrong seat. We have taken objective. Think I saved C for now. Ah. Uh. Too many! It has no depth and it's like you learn it and you get bored with it really fast because they wanna sell it to children, you know? Finally I did it. We have taken objective ready. Tolle Vorstellung. This medic though. Holy shit, he's doing work. We have lost objective but a sentry kit is available near your location. Now we control all objectives after we had after we were full capped.
<laughs> that didn't work out. Alright, this flag is secure. I'm going for a hunt. <laughs> 